Hey guys, Bob from Gale Skills here. Great to see you again. Today we get another micro scrapping excursion. This one's kind of special because me and Crystal from R5 Adventures, we picked these things up together. Uh, and I've already scrapped a couple of these, but I figured you'd like to see the disassembly process as well. This is, so far as I know, and as I looked it up, it is a, let's see, a proportional spring return actuator for HVAC. Don't ask me exactly what that means in uh, pure English, but uh, I can tell you there is some uh, goodies inside here. So I'm going to go ahead and start the process of taking it apart and showing you guys what it's all about. All right, guys, for those of you that have been around for a while, you know what to do. But for those of you that are new to the channel, please feel free to like, comment and share as well as subscribe if you haven't done so already and hit that bell. It means a lot to me, it means a lot to the YouTube algorithm, and it means a lot to the channel. So hopefully you do all those things, please. All right. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is try to get these pieces off here. It looks like I'm not gonna have any problems doing that. And uh, this is where we're gonna put all of our screws and nuts and bolts and washers and all that fun stuff. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can get that off there. We go yes so that's that should allow this to come right off I'll probably leave the larger items out here perfect all right so far so good so now there's no really other screws to speak of here you got these um, these rivets and what I use to get these rivets out is uh, I, I basically I'll drill them out uh, so that way I can pop the cover off so bear with me just a moment here. I'm going to get that ready to go and then I'll start drilling through so that we can we can get this aluminum housing all taken apart. Also guys, um, there is this uh, copper wire as you can see here. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off so I don't have to worry about it flopping around. I was gonna wait until I open it up but there's really not too much more in there. So there's that. So I'll put that over here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So we got to clean this up just a little bit here, uh, take this plastic out and these two plastic pieces here, and this will be clean aluminum. There we go. All right, there it is. All right, so this is a, uh, I just got to peel this off and that'll be a clean piece of cast aluminum. So I'll go ahead and put that over here. Then we get a whole bunch of goodies here, as you can see that we can take apart. Let's see if I can do this without going too ballistically crazy. There we go. There's the uh, board for the return. I'll clean that up a little bit and take the rubber off and all that fun stuff. But it's got a little bit of wire left on there. See what I mean? There wasn't really too much left, but I do want to cut that off there. Put that with the uh, other stuff there. Take these uh, plastic pieces off. Put that with the junk. And there. Looks like we get a motor here. Got some clips. Let me see if I can get those clips off. All right. Clip. Okay. There is a star screw, if you will. Uh -huh. Let's see if we can get the appropriate tool for it. And if you like what you see here, please you know, feel free to subscribe. 
Right? Nope, too big. There we go. That'll do it. Get that screw out of there. Okay, oh, we got a plastic sheath here. Just put that with the other plastic. So this is essentially a copper bearing motor, which is nice. There's a little bit of brass in there if you want to further, you know, take it apart. There's a decent amount of brass in there if you want to take it apart. Let's take the wire. We'll just put that with the wire. Copper bearing motor. The rest is pretty much 100% ferrous metal with the exception of the bottom half. What I like to do is I like to try to take the rest out if I can. This here I think is a rubber seal. No, it's metallic. I guess it's rubber coated, but there is a piece of metal in there. So I'll just put that in there. Oh, okay, I see what's going on. See, look, there's different layers and uh, you get those different rivets. Let me get those out real quick, guys. more plastic. It's more plastic in here than I thought there was. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to drill through this side as well. Okay, now that we got all that taken care of, hopefully we can Get the rest of this out. Let me see if I can hammer the rest of it out there. Ow. Let me see if I can get a better leverage tool. Wow, okay. Needs a little bit more drilling. See if I can hammer this out a little bit. <laughs> I put it all back in place. <laughs> uh. There's that. That's that's completely out. this side here as well. I'm going to get some of that stuff out of there so we can call this a clean piece of uh, aluminum in there. Get rid of that. Let's see if I can... <laughs> get it out of there. There we go. There we go. Okay. So other than this uh, sticker here, it's a clean piece of um, cast aluminum. Believe it or not, everything else that you see here, give or take a few small things, is all ferrous. It's all ferrous material. There's all metal cogs in there. There's not a single piece of plastic in there. Other than that, there's a little piece of plastic right there. It all goes in the shred pile. All goes in the shred. There's no brass in here at all. I've also checked the cogs in previous ones there just to make sure that <laughs> none of these were brass. All right, guys, here we are with the final bounty for this actuator here. As you can see here, we've got a whole bunch of ferrous material on the inside there with uh, cogs and gears and various other things, wind up stuff here. Even though it looks copper or brass, believe it or not, it really isn't, it's still steel. So we've got some uh, bolts and some washers and a few goodies in there. All ferrous material as well as that there. We've got some, we've got a board here as you can see. We've got a copper bearing motor. And of course we've got some copper wire. It's number two insulated copper wire. We've got some plastic junk 
and rubber junk. Not too much on this one, which is really, really refreshing. And I have to say the big winner today is the actual cast aluminum. Uh, we got a decent amount of cast aluminum here, uh, and it's fairly heavy too, which is really nice. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the reverse flow actuator for an HVAC. If you like what you've seen here, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until the next time, have a scrap happy day.